good evening. Hello, it's Dave at uh, Global Preface Network again. Uh, I just want to, before I do this video, I want a quick thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, thanks, I can do it without you. Um, thanks to all my group members and thanks for the support. Um, obviously, um, I, I do have groups, people who are not members of the groups, I do have groups. So when I'm mentioning like members, there on my groups, Global Preppers Network, UK Preppers Network, and American Preppers Network. And there's also the page, um, Global Preppers Network page, so you can have a look at that. Um, yeah, so thanks all round to everyone. Right, obviously due to COVID-19, my a lot of my outdoor pursuits are pretty much on hold at the moment. But if you are on the groups, you'll get to see like, Photos of my little adventures that I get, whether it's urban exploration, going to the woods, doing whatever, like um, cooking, like there's, there's stuff all on the groups I am doing. Some of the stuff that's not on YouTube. Okay, um, what else have I got to say? Right, yeah, so you can see some of the photos on the groups and stuff, as well as the prepper urban survival kind of stuff, um, urban combat and stuff. We'll also be looking as you see in my previous videos, uh, some sort of uh, bits and pieces that are prepper survival related, uh, kit, knives, food, ration packs, other related equipment and paraphernalia. Right, today, um, we're gonna have a look at this. It's the 24 hour ration pack, GP, uh, ba, 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 menu four. Um, do you know, I haven't got a clue about these because the last time I had one was when I was 17 and they were totally different to this. Okay, so we're going to have a look inside here. And that's on my last video with the uh, mask protective field M981. Uh, people say not to open it and keep it sealed. The reason I do this is if you get one, then you don't have to open it. You know what's in it already. You can have a look. And... Uh, that's what we're gonna do, and that's why I do this. It's um, I have others, so it's not a problem. I just think my curiosity is too much to bear. Right, get this open. Okay, excuse me a minute. There you go. Sorry about that. Uh, right, first thing. Sorry, been a long day. First thing I notice is it's quite weighty. Believe it or not, it's like it's um. Like it, top off. It's um, it's a fair old bike. I don't think I'd ever take that much camping anyway. But um, but let's have a look. Right, got a bag of tea makey type of stuff. What's this? British Army prize entry draw. Basically, say if you like it or not. So it's a real deal. Well, we've also got wow. These. We're going to go through them individually quickly. Um, so we've got this. There's quite a lot of stuff here. Look, I'm on my third handful. Okay. Right. Okay. And that's empty. Right, so in front of me, I have quite a lot of stuff here, actually. Let's tear that up a bit. That's better. Right. I think we'll start with this bag. The see through tea bag thing, which I've pulled open to. Okay, so in here we have, and I'll hold it up so you can have a little look. This is Beyond the Beaten Track, um, which, as far as I'm aware, is quite a good bank of stuff in general, camping stuff. Right, two of these alcohol free white things. Okay, this is in this first bag, so I'm just gonna. Have a look. Uh, some dodgy chewing gum, dodgy looking chewing gum. Okay, what else we got in here? Blah, 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 blah. Some tissues. Yeah, I definitely don't remember them being this good. Uh, two different types of tea. Right, you get variety as well. What else we got? Got these uh, long burning windproof matches, which is a great thing to have in there. Uh, ba -ba -ba. A spork, a very bad one, can you see that? Yeah, okay. 
Well, we have creamers or what dodgy milk powder because I hate this stuff, but it's like it. You, you got to use it. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's have a look. Four packs of these creamers. Four packs of these sugars, like you get in the cap. I think that is some sort of jam. Not sure. Possibly. Two different varieties of coffee sachets. Six water purification tablets. Great things to have in there as well. And strangely, we have like poppers bowl hot original pepper sauce wow and that's all in this bag so i'm going to put this back okay i'm trying to keep this um so this was all in this bag so as you can see already there's quite a lot of stuff in there just in that bag tea making bag turn the air out of there so just have to put this back because it's hiding us more than anything Right, so now uh, we're on to the meals. Let's do the meals because we've got lots of stuff here. Right, we have got, I mean, it's, it's quite a lot. I reckon you could get by on this for three or four days, to be honest. Right, this menu for Indonesian style spicy rice with pork. Okay, 300 grams. 300 grams vegetarian all day breakfast. Three hundred grams tomato pasta salad, and oh, I bet that's nice. Ginger pudding and ginger sauce. So I mean, I mean survival. I mean that's good living. That is for twenty four hours, right? So you got these. I mean that's where a lot of the weight is, as you can see. But let's have a look. Right, so we got other bits and pieces there. So we've got the meals, obviously. Right, and these are the last bits. You've got a bag of 75 grams of just nuts. This is peanuts, almonds, cashews. And it does say if you've got a nut allergy. So, yeah, but the title is just nuts. Um, I mean, they've still got, this whole pack's still got a year on, but they'll be good for, I mean, years and years after that. Okay, um, yep, yeah, so we've got just nuts. What else we got? We've got quite... Beyond the beaten track, oat digestive biscuits. Okay, feels like there's four in that, biscuits. And a cranberry cereal bar. I think there's about 15 cherry drop sweets, if you can see them. And right now we've got a few drinks here, I think. We got uh raspberry drink of some sort. Doesn't say whether it's a milkshake or anything, but there you go. Raspberry beverage. Then we've got grapefruit beverage. Uh -huh. And then we have 60 grams of hot chocolate. And what else we got here? Isotonic cherry. I mean, you've got to say, this is this would last you in a survival situation. I, I mean, that keep me alive for a week. What's this we got here? Tropical fruit drink. So there's a few drinks. You've got chocolate, you've got coffee, you've got tea. Then you've got peanut butter. Okay, so obviously there is quite a lot of food there. I mean, any questions, just give me a shout, um, as always. Um, it was just a quick look to see what's inside, and I'm really impressed, because like I say, they never used to make them like this. So what I'll do at the end as well is I'll take a photo of it, and I'll add it to the video, and um, so you can see like the amount of stuff that's in there. Uh, and I'll put it at the end of the video because there's no point in putting it. You get me. Right, um, okay, right, that was it. It was just a quickie. 
Um, like again, I said again, thank you for subscribing. Please like the videos when you see them because, um, you know, it's it's hard enough on YouTube without people actually. If you do like a video, then, then like it for us. I'd really appreciate it. Right, guys. Um, and like I say, if you want to join the groups or anything, there should be a link on one of the videos somewhere, but I'll work on that. Uh, obviously, I'm still new to this. Right, it's been emotional. Take care of yourselves, guys. Like I say, any questions, give me a shout. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks a lot for watching.